If you don't know much about the Nizamo Onsen Fire Festival, you are in for a treat. This is one of the craziest experiences you can have in Japan. So let's jump in. What's cracking my photography friends? Good morning from Tokyo. I'm here in my very spacious APA hotel, but I am super excited today. We are headed to the Nizawa Onsen Fire Festival. This is a traditional Japanese festival that takes place on the same day every year. It involves an awful lot of fire and for the locals involved, drinking a lot of sake. Really excited. I don't really know what to expect, but I think it's going to be lots of fun. Heading over to the train station and meeting PK and Ben. We're getting the Shinkansen. Let's get going. I'll see you there. bus ride it's another 30 40 minutes to Nazawa Onsen there's a few people waiting for the bus a lot of Gaijins a lot of foreigners so yeah time to wait for the bus We have made it to Nazar Onsen and just came out to check out them building the shrine ready for tomorrow and it's all happening. They're cutting wood, there's a little fire behind me. It's a bit of snow, it's actually quite warm today though, so yeah, but it is all happening. They start preparing the wood for this shrine months and months before the festival and this is ultimately what they're going to burn down tomorrow during the festival. walking through kind of I guess the main part of town now checked into our hotel more a traditional Japanese kind of accommodation that's it <laughs> nice big TV cheese curry spicy meat flavor <laughs> <laughs> college snacks oh one. yeah <laughs> so we are headed back to where they are building the fire structure to, fire see, shrine. to see the progress. It is raining a bit though. I mean, if I only think. it was snowing, but <laughs> it is not. It's almost too short weather still. <laughs> yeah, it's not actually that cold, but you can see in the background how they are going. As they continued working on the shrine, for us it was time to maybe grab some drinks and some dinner. after arriving yesterday so Pick and I decided that we would head up the slopes for probably a half day fire festival is tonight so we want to get back down with enough time to get ready and get organized for that we have our rental gear we have coffee time to hit the slopes <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Uh, that one hurt. quite impressive in the background there everything's set up ready to go can't wait to see it catch fire <laughs> so it starts at about seven ish we think and kind of ends at about 10 when they eventually put on this on a bigger shrine here so yeah pretty excited i'm gonna go back and chill for a bit now we'll be back down here at night can't wait see you there what and 9% lemon sour. All right, the time has come. We are making our way towards where the festivities happen. We're a bit early, but it sounds like something's already going on. Man, it's so dark in this footage. <laughs> 12,800. Yeah, it's kind of, it's still raining a little bit, but it is super moody, it's very foggy. Um, yeah, we'll make our way in and see what's happening. Now might be a good time to quickly summarize what's actually happening tonight. Basically, the males from the village aged both 25 and 42 take part. The 25 year olds are down the bottom defending the shrines. And then we have the 42 year olds who sit up in the shrine trying to protect it. The rest of the village who is involved will attack the shrine with fire. Regardless of what happens though, the night will end with them burning down this big shrine for the big conclusion. So they were successful at defending the shrine, but it was almost that time of night, ready for the big conclusion. Such a unique experience, had so much fun, something totally different. I'm totally <laughs> exhausted today, big day on the slopes once last night. Can't imagine how some of the other guys feeling that were taking part, they were very drunk. But I hope you enjoyed this one, really unique experience here in Japan. If you're thinking about it next year, I can highly recommend. Even just spending time in this little town was great. So keep on creating. Keep on growing my friends, I will catch you in the next one.
Bye for now. That's a mad